Um, we, we do a lot of, um, see a lot of essential digital risks because most, if not all players, are digitizing their systems. And so there's quite a big element about cybersecurity, and we've been putting a lot of efforts into that. But allow me to look at the bigger picture here. Let's look at our youth. Um, they are working in a very interesting environment today. For example, um, when I started work, I was employed in terms that are known as uh, permanent and pensionable. That meant I was assured of a salary, unless I did something. I was assured of living up to the age of 55 because I had medical cover and all. But in today's economy, most people and the youth are preferring to do what is known as gig economy. A gig economy means I'm not assured of my salary next week because I'm working from job to job, number one. Number two, they are not patient to work. Uh, I think he mentioned about them coming in and taking their savings immediately. Our youth are very, very impatient. I was interviewing a boy who was uh, coming for a job and I asked him, where do you see yourself in three years? And he says, I want to drive a BMW and I want to earn three million shillings. And I'm looking at him and saying, <laughs> there's, something, there's something wrong here. So um, a major risk for us is our youth uh, need to be educated in terms of, number one, uh, what we are calling delayed gratification. They need to be told to put in the work so that they can get the results. And that's a big risk for us because a lot of our youth just basically spend the money as it comes and that's why we are not seeing a lot of savings. So we really need to start looking at developing innovative solutions that can then inspire these people. And it's not the traditional savings. We need to give them opportunities to see a way of saving that then captures their imagination and engages them. So that is the challenge I would like to, to put in as we do our financial literacy. Thank you so much. And that's a very